When I'm abroad, life at home in Ireland seems different, but that difference isn't real. What is different is the perspective or new way of looking at things. It's something that the American writer Richard Hugo wrote about in his famous essay, The Triggering Town. When we go to a new town, we become excited when we see the new cinema, the new street, all the new establishments. And, but when we go to write, what we're really writing about is our own hometown as seen through this new perspective. Moving on. Angela, the new girl, is keen to learn. Keen to make letters with her pen and form them into words. As soon as she can write her name, we move on to her address, the name of the lane where the unofficial site is, the name of the road off which the lane is, the name of the district where the road is, and the number of the district. All week, the lane, the road, the district, the number of the district, each morning and afternoon till Friday, when she can write her name and address. Her father doesn't want anyone to know where they're living, least of all his cousin he owes £500 to. And when the cousin gets wind of where they are, Angela's father throws everything into the trailer, hitches it to his van, arrives on our doorstep and drags her off. The letters of the words of the place where she spent a week spinning in her head. When I came to the Griffiths Art Centre, I brought a manuscript with me. Um, it wasn't really a manuscript, it was just notes for a manuscript for the book A Lesson in Kant. It was something that I'd written 15 years ago and I was wondering where it would go or where I could bring it. And uh, when I got here, Alex Williams, the other artist in residence, encouraged me and told me it was a great idea. And uh, I set to work honing and developing the script. And then when Alex's paintings arrived, there was a, one painting among them which suited my book perfectly. So not only did I have a new book, but I also had a beautiful painting for the cover. As well as working on a lesson in Kant, I've also been working on a play I brought with me called Slán in Irish and Safe in English. And I've also been writing some new poetry, but I haven't even looked at that uh, to edit it. And it's certainly not ready to be shared with anyone. But as for the play, I find the play is very exciting. And it, it, um, it's looking at the lives of women in Ireland during the last 50 years. And it spans those 50 years, starting in 1963, uh, and also then a good part of it is set in the present day. And for the women of Ireland, two very exciting things happened in 1963. One was the visit of JFK, and the other was the visit of the Beatles. My two main characters are Steph and Anne. Steph is a young single mother who's uh, an independent journalist and anxious to make a go of things and to earn a living and support her child. Anne is a pensioner who volunteers in the local charity shop and she's someone who has seen it all. She has seen JFK, she has seen the Beatles. And uh, I suppose being here in New London gives me a different way of looking at that and a different way of seeing American politics and how people here think of JFK, especially now in three weeks time, it'll be the 50th anniversary of his death. <laughs>